as an employee, may instill sa iyo ang financial discipline because you have to regularly invest. Tapos, automatic deduction siya. Disiplina ko yun eh, na ilalagay mo yung amount. Financials. If you are new here in our channel, Ramper Financials is a complete one-stop shop for your financial needs. Our vision is to help people fulfill their financial dreams. Welcome back mga loyal subscribers! Sa last video ko, we talked about the 8 most powerful things I've learned from the one and only Rex Mendoza. And meron ako sinabi dun na sana maging topic natin in the future. Yung rewind ka natin? convenient yung automatic deduction na yun. It's called the micro-investment program. Mali nyo itakla namin yan sa next vlog namin, no? auto-deduction auto siya, and then your choice kung magkano yung gusto mong itanggal. Yes, tama po, yun ay yung micro-investment program na merong sa Rampver. And sino-sino nga yung mga mutual fund partners na meron nun? Pero bago na may discuss, it's a special YouTube video for today kasi nandyan po ang aking partner right now. Hi, Jason! One of the managers of Rampver Financials too. Hi, Jason! How are you? Hi sila, I'm all good and thank you to Rember. Patuloy tayo nakakatulong sa mga ibang tao at ito po ay nakapagpapagaan ng ating quarantine experience. Okay, napakaganda po ng ating topic today. Dahil po, para sa mga employers po na naghahanap ng pwedeng alternative para madagdagan ang beneficyo ng kanilang employees, ito po yun. At sa mga employees po na naghahanap ng also other options para makapag-invest kahit sa napakababang halaga, ito po ang solusyon. Bago po yan, ibabalik ko po muna ulit kay Sila. Dahil siya po ang mag explain kung ano po ang benefits sa employer at saka sa employee nitong programa natin. Okay, Sila, back to you! So ano nga ba tong facility na to at bakit useful no? It involves automatic deduction no sa salary mo. So meaning hindi mo na siya mararamdaman. And pag hindi mo na siya nararamdaman, hindi mo na nahihipo yung pera na yun. Hindi mo na magagalaw. Until nga yung na-mention ko sa last video ko, it becomes a lifestyle. And since na, masasanay ka na hindi mo na nakukuha yun, automatic nag-grow lang yun mag-isa, hindi mo na napapansin. So that's what's good about a micro-investment program. Pero what is an MIP? Micro-investment program. It is a voluntary savings program facility that allows employees to have access to investment alternatives and they can even choose yung kanilang amount even in small amounts. Pwede silang makapag-invest regularly by automatic deduction. Sounds good, di ba? Hindi ba when you hear of micro na word lending, microfinancing, usually loans ho yan, hindi ba? Pero the micro-investment program is purely for saving and investing ng mga employees natin. So it's for a corporate account. So It works both sides. It works for the employees and the employer. So let's go first on the benefits of this MIP to the employer. So number one, the employer can enhance its existing benefits without additional cost. Remember, the employee will dictate kung magkano yung amount na automatic deduction sa kanya para sa kanyang long-term goal. So that's number one, enhancing the existing benefits with no additional cost. The number two benefit dito sa MIP natin on the employer side is that you are adding financial value sa inyong employees because you are helping them save and invest for their future, for their long-term goals, for savings so ito. So in that way, the employees will feel na binavalue nyo sila, you are um, giving value to their future para at least in any amount na kaya nilang ilet go at wag nang tignan for the future, you will support them fully. So that's number two. Okay, number three, you are helping build a um, financial literate workforce. Imagine that. In Rambler Financials for our MIP account, we have to keep in touch kasi pera nung mga employees yun, hindi ba? We have to keep them updated sa market. Kapag kami yung employees na pumapasok, we have to update them and reorient them na okay, meron tayong MIP, we're applying this to you because we want you to save invest for your future and here are the steps, here are the benefits, this is the process. So, kailangan uh, meron tayong ganun na relationship because nga um, sa isang company may mga pumapasok na employees na mga bago. We have to reorient them. And imagine, the employer now is continuing to build a financial literate workforce. Tama ba? So, it's really beneficial also for the employers. It's just that, minsan hindi nila alam na may ganun palang facility, di ba? Hindi pala nila alam na may MIP na tinatawag. 
Um, second to the last one, merong tayong tinatawag na it could help the employee retention sa isang company because nga, nakatali na dun eh. It's not just money right now. It's also involving the the dreams of your employees. Nakataya na rin dun. And you as an employer are helping them. So, this can help in the employee retention for a company. And the last benefit for the employer no, is the easy administration. Naku, napaka-konti lang ng forms dito. Sa so, umpisa lang madami for the opening account of the corporate account. Pero after nun, everything is online. Everything is emailed na lang. Payment and an Excel form. My partner, Jace, will discuss this later. Pero ganun lang siya kadali. Plus, you will have regular webinars and trainings from Rampburg. Kasi nga, para ma-reorient yung mga employees kasi pera, pera nila yon So, I, I really hope this is very clear for the employer side. So, now let's go to the side of the employees. What are the benefits of an employee kapag yung employer nila nag-apply for this MIP? Yung micro-investment program natin. So, first is, the employee will now have access to sophisticated investment instruments with a minimal capital requirement. You know what? Mamaya, excited na ako. Sasabihin sa inyo ni Jason later kung pagkano yung amount na pwedeng i-deduct as low as how much. Depende ho talaga. So, we mention niya yun later. Okay? So, you have now access to sophisticated investment products. Number two, ngayon, as an employee, may instill sa sa'yo ang financial discipline because you have to regularly invest. Tapos, automatic deduction siya. Disciplina ho yun eh, na ilalagay mo yung amount. Like, for example, yung sinabi ko sa goals ko, I started with 1,000 pesos per per cut-off, per payday. Tapos, until pinalaki ko siya, nagkaroon ako ng goals. Until now, um, I still have goals for that. Binibilang mo na siya kung paano, hindi ba? So, that's number two. May instill ang financial discipline ho sa inyo. Okay, number three. Since the amount is predetermined, alam mo na kung magkano yung may mo for one whole year. Kasi nga, predetermined yung amount. It makes it more convenient and flexible. You can now adjust it. You can now make it bigger or make it smaller depende kung hindi kaya sa budget. But the important thing is, it's convenient kasi na-predetermined mo na yung amount. Kaya yun yung ginawa ko dun sa kinukwento kong goal ko. I started with 1,000, tapos napaisip ako, wait, is this enough? For one year, I have 24,000 pesos. Sabi ko, hindi, I have to work harder para mas lumaki yun at mas malaki yung maihulog ko. So, it really instills that discipline, tapos convenience, and it's very, very flexible. Ho. And the last one is, since you will have this habit already na, alam mo na, until magiging lifestyle na siya, actually, hindi mo na talaga siya mapapansin na dinideduct po sa sweldo ninyo, you will now have that road to financial security. Okay, magkakaroon ka ng, it's already you, okay, taking an action, taking that step with the help of your employer na makapag-invest ka. Tapos, that is now the road to financial financial security. Hindi mo ba? It's very, very convenient. Tapos, automatic deduction pa. Dati, wala hong gantong mga facility sa mutual funds. You always have to go over the counter para lang makapag-invest sa mutual funds. Now, online banking nandiyan na rin. Your employers can also have access to this. And if it's the first time you've heard about it, tapos hindi ka naman HR, pero gusto mo na i-explore yung ganito option, you can open this to your HR actually. We can do orientations, free po ang consultations and orientations namin para sa mga employees and employers of course. So, kung gusto mo na mag-start, kung interested ka, ano bang requirements sa mga ito, magkano bang minimum? How does it work? Now, my partner Jason will discuss more about this and sino yung mga mutual funds na kasama dito. Okay, so take it away Jason. Hi again, Sila, and thank you for that wonderful explanation. Paano po ba nag-work ang isang micro-investment program? Para po itong isang individual account, ang difference lang po talaga ay ang employer or ang company ang mag-open ng account on behalf of all the employees po. Paano po nagpo-function yan? Or ano po ba yung importansya ng ganitong setup? Since si company na po ang nag-setup ng account, siya lang po yung magsasubmit ng lahat ng application forms, lahat ng requirements, and pati po yung minimum investment, siya lang po yung magbubuno nun, technically. So, ang minimum niya po is 1,000 pesos lang. And since this is a micro-investment program, now, if the employees would like to invest 100 pesos, 50 pesos, or 250, okay lang po yan as long as ma-meet nyo po yung 
yung minimum amount of investment na 1,000 pesos. Di ba maganda? Kasi ho, pag individual na kompo, ibig sabihin, yung employee na yon magbibigay ng application forms. Siya rin po ang magbibigay ng minimum investment na 1,000. So sa iba po, hindi po kaya. Medyo mahal po yun. Ngayon po, dahil sa program na ito, na ibababa natin yung investment hurdle. Ika nga. Ang maganda po dito sa setup na to, lalo na pag ang employer natin ay gumawa ng ganitong programa, wala ka na pong dahilan para hindi makapag-invest. Hindi po ba? Kasi kahit 25 pesos pa po yan or 50 pesos lang po yan, as long as you are part of the micro-investment program, pwede pwede po. At least, even at a smaller amount, nakakapagtabi ka na po. Paano ba natin isi-set up itong account na to? Actually, napakadali lang po. As long as there's a cooperation with the employer and with the employee, madaling-madaling iset up po ito. Now, ano po ba ang gagawin natin? Unang-una, of course, we have to gather all the documentary requirements coming from the employer. Ano po ba yung mga yun? Of course, the uh, application forms, the corporate documents, and then, of course, the MOA, Memorandum of Agreement, between the company and the investment house or the mutual fund company. On top of that, of course, yung ID ng mga signatory natin and yung tinatawag natin transaction summary report. So, it's just like an Excel sheet na kalista kung sino yung mga employee na mag -i at ganitong amount to. So, ganun lang po siya. It's as simple as that. We'll have to prepare those things. Now, that would be on the employer side. Now, kami naman po, the next step would be we will have to orient the employees naman on how this program will work. Ano po yung mga karapatan nila? Ano po yung mga do's and don'ts? Saan po i-invest yung kanila mga pera? Kami na po ang bahala doon sa orientation na yun. Again, if nag-agree na si employee, the next step is for the employer and then the employee to have a sign agreement. So, ano pong nakalagay doon? Yung mga terms and conditions sila. Pwede po nilang iset doon kung kailan pwedeng withdrawin. Ano po yung turnaround time ng pag-withdraw or pag-aad? Magkano ang isa salary deduction sa kanila? Is it 50 pesos per cut of po? 100 pesos per cut of po? But you know what? Pag naumpisan mo kahit 500 pesos a month, tas nagiging part na siya nung uh, kaltas mo sa sahod mo, hindi mo na po mamamalayan. Parang ganito lang ho yan. Yung SSS nyo ba, pag-ibig and other taxes po, ininda nyo po ba kahit medyo mataas yan? Di ba ho hindi? Dahil po, naka-salary deduction na po siya. So, ito po yung beauty ng programa. Now, pag-signed na po lahat ng mga agreement na yan, then we can now actually proceed with the actual investment. So, the next step would be the employer or the HR, sila na po yung magkakaltas ng sahod or ng salary ng ating employees. Now, pag na-collecta na po nila yon, pwede na po nilang i-remit sa atin or sa mutual fund companies po. Para po, mabook na natin yung mga investments nila. So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. And every couple po, every agreed period po kung kailan mag, magpapasari yung doc yung employee, doon po natin siya i-invest. Now again, on top of the regular savings, ang pinaka-importante dito is cost averaging. In fact nga, yung mga empleyado na micro-investment program, daig pa nila yung mga mutual fund investors natin na nagta-time. Especially po sa mga nangyayari ngayon, makikita nyo po yan, pinaka-maganda pa rin pag nag-cost averaging ka. Sino-sino po ba yung mga companies na nag-o-offer nito? Or mga mutual funds na qualified for this one? Oh, well, unang-una dyan would be so Devo Funds. Second, we have Sun Life. We have First Metro. And then we have Telam. So, we have those companies po. But, of course, this can change from time to time. And pwede po tayo magdagdag ng other partners as part of additional option. Now, depende po yan, we will update you as soon as we have new partners that are offering these kinds of programs. Now, for ko ibalik kay Sila, I'd just like to reiterate some of the things that I've discussed. Number one, di ba napakadali lang talaga. So, especially sa mga employees po, yung company nuna po ang tutulong talaga sa atin para makapag-set up ng ating investments. Pangalawa, wala ka na pong excuse kung nakapag-set up tayo ng gantong program. As slow as whatever you can, pwedeng-pwede po talaga. Okay, as slow as 50 pesos, 100 pesos, pwedeng-pwede po yan. This can help so many people who they say they can save for themselves. Pangatlo, on top of the savings, of course, cost averaging talaga. Pinaka-importante. This is the real beauty of the micro-investment. Yung regular investments. Kasi kahit ikaw na private investor ka na, marunong ka na. Pero pag tinamaan ka ng katamaran at tinamaan ka ng sale, okay, ipagpapalibang mo yung investment mo. Unlike pag this one, here in micro-investments, tuloy-tuloy lang. Kahit gumastos ka, at least nakatabi na yung investment mo. Ika nga, savings muna bago expenses. Alright? So, again, thank you so much. I'll give it back to Sela. 
I hope marami kayo natutunan sa video namin na to. Thank you for watching. If hindi ka pa na ako subscribe, click on the subscribe button below, the notification bell below, share this to your friends, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you and stay safe.